An auxiliary nurse said she's devastated the health authority is barring her from visiting residents at Maison Heron. The Dorval uh, long-term care home has had one of the worst COVID-19 outbreaks. And as Leah Hendry reports, the nurse believes her visits were offering both comfort and hope. Christy Lynn Kemp says she loves the residents at Maison Heron like family. But as the deaths mounted and it became unclear who was in charge earlier this month, she reached her breaking point. I felt that I needed to step down in the capacity of a nurse because I was no longer mentally able to perform my duties. Instead, she offered to keep going into the care home as a paid companion. An offer, she said, management not only approved, but encouraged. Kemp believed her visits would make a difference for the residents sequestered in their rooms. I also tried to give them hope. And for those who were passing away, I held their hand and I sat with them because nobody needs to die alone. Knowing Kemp was at her mother's bedside was a huge relief for Patricia DiBiase and her husband. Since the lockdown, getting updates on her mother was difficult. But Kemp noticed the 97-year-old was not eating or drinking and flagged it to the family. She was severely dehydrated and was sent to the Lakeshore Hospital last week. The couple credits Kemp for catching it. It was... I don't know, it's as if we were there. You know, for us, it was the best thing we could have gotten. If somebody has kind-hearted, asked Christy to be our eyes and ears. Then, last week, the health agency told her she is no longer welcome unless she works as a nurse. Given the sadness in that building, I feel like that might just push me over the edge. Kemp says she was told it's because they're short-staffed, but she suspects that it was uncomfortable with the contact she had with families. She believes her absence will hurt the residents who are already struggling with so much loss. I'm genuinely worried that it, without these regular visits, they're going to decline mentally. The West Island Sius, the health agency that oversees Maison Heron, would not comment on Kemp's situation. For Kemp's part, she sent letters to both the Premier and the Prime Minister's offices asking for their help so she can go back as a companion. The residents' families say they want her back too. Leah Hendry, CBC News, Montreal.